Welcome to the channel, everybody. Uh, I'm Daniel. If you don't care, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Be very much appreciated. But today I wanted to jump into Okiyama, particularly Okiyama, because it's one of the tracks that is the most demanding for me as far as uh, the FPS counter goes. So I wanted to quickly show some people or show all you guys that uh, there's some things you can do in iRacing to really dramatically help you. And you may even not even know it, but it's going to help you be able to see what's on the screen and correlate that better with your steering wheel. It's going to give you a better feel and it'll just come second nature to you once you start getting everything lined up. So what I'm talking about is, as you can tell right here, I'm going to my graphic setting. You'll notice right off the rip, I'm limiting my FPS to 125. Now I'm going to go to no limit. We're going to add that in there. We're going to jump in the car and I'm going to show you why I'm limiting my FPS. If you look right now, it's showing 64 to showing all this. Again, I need to say that I have a 7900 XTX with a 13600K processor. So the CPU is a little bit of a bottleneck. So I'm running into multiple issues here. So we'll jump in the car and I'll quickly fast forward you guys over to the front stretch. You see right here, we're 140, 150. We're around 130s, 120s. And what you'll notice is we're going to get way up there, about 170s, 180s. Right here, we're at 180s. As you can tell, the FPS is dropping really bad down this back straight away. What I really want to show you is when I get on this front straightaway, watch the FPS and watch how bad it just tanks. It's already tanking right now. Look at it. There's 114s. It's coming back up now. If you notice this whole entire lap, we've had such a variable in FPS. Now, if you get that big change in a corner, that's going to cause issues. You're going to get a little bit of a stuttering problem. And also on top of that, since the frame rate is so inconsistent, you may not even notice this, but you can't really correlate what you're seeing on the screen to what you're feeling in the steering wheel because the steering wheel is consistent. Whereas the FPS is moving all over the place, right? So therefore, if you lock your FPS, what I have noticed is that my trail braking has gotten better because I can get more aggressive with it. And I don't have to worry about these micro stutters as much. So let me jump out of this real quick. And as you notice, it does drop below 125 every now and then, right? But on other racetracks, I typically stay above 125, no problem, even with a bunch of cars on the track. It's just this track for some reason. For me, it's extremely challenging to get the FPS uh, up there. So let's go ahead and limit this real quick. Uh, graphics. We're gonna go back to limit to 125. We'll see if you can notice a difference on the video or not i don't know how this will translate into obs or not obs but uh my editing software For some reason it may not like it who knows but see for me like i can already tell right there 
that it's smoother. Obviously, you guys probably can't because you're not holding the steering wheel. But everything just feels smoother. Everything feels like it should. The corners are coming at a consistent speed. It's not all over the place. It's, there's no latency issues that I'm feeling in the steering wheel or my eyes to the steering wheel. It just feels buttery smooth. As I spin her out, right into the wall. One off track. But One -off what track. I'm trying Two to get incidents. my point across here is on. by limiting the FPS, you're going to do a couple things. One, like I was saying, the correlation from the screen to the steering wheel, you're going to have that feel better. You're going to be able to be more consistent going into the corners, lap after lap. But two, your GPU is not going to work as hard. You're not going to pull as much power from the wall and things like that. I know some people don't care about that, but that is one of the benefits from this. You're not really pushing the equipment to its absolute hardest, but you're getting that consistent feel across all, all the, the corners and everything. So this is all I have for you. I just wanted to share this with you real quick. I hope it helps everybody out there a little bit. Uh, also, I'm going to share a link down below of another video I watched and where I kind of got this idea in a way. Uh, he goes through and he basically tests every setting in iRacing and benchmarked it. Uh, it's, it's actually a fantastic video. So if you don't care, go over and watch that as well. Like I said, like, subscribe to the channel. If you're already here. You might as well do it. All right. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you later.